Okay, so this model looks good. So we have a scarf difference. This time being a scarf of what it looks like, which, which is uh, a scarf to make it warm. And, and Santa's, and it looks like Sonic is wearing Santa's hat because this is supposed to be a Christmas Sonic. This is supposed to be a Christmas Boom Sonic. Not a not Christmas Boom Sonic. Now it's time to now it's time to go to the probably real deal Sonic game. The ultimate so, the ultimate Sonic game. To, probably the first Sonic game to came to, to be ported to to mo probably the first modern Sonic game to be ported to mobile devices. Sonic Forces. Actually, it's Sonic Forces Speed Battle. It's just Sonic Forces. But if you combine it with Sonic... Let's say if you combine it Sonic Forces with Sonic Dash with multiplayer battles. And you get Sonic Forces. Oh my god, this is what... This is not what I expected. Oh yeah, the video is still uploading. This is actually not what I expected. The legs are there. There's nothing in the ball. You see, when I looked at an, an image of this, it lo Sonic and the ball oh, look separate. Look, in the game, you jump into a ball. So, yeah. They could have just made the ball a separate model. But, but they probably didn't have the time to make it a separate model from Sonic. Okay. Whoa, where did you come from, Christmas? Where did you come from, Christmas Sonic? We're not talking about you this we're not talking about you. We have to move on. This is the Sonic the Hedgehog that will be used in Sonic in Sonic Runners. Yeah, I know he's not like line shaped, but that's probably just a sprite or something. I'd say for a Sonic game that only moves to the right, they made this model look 3D. I thought all. I thought all of the Sonic characters were just sprites, but no. They actually modeled them. This looks good. Okay. Yeah, this is a... I consider this... If I were able to make a top ten... A top five list of my favorite Sonic models. This would be in there. We're not going to you next Christmas Sonic because there's a bit of nostalgia coming up your way. That's right. I'm talking about classic Sonic. This is everybody. You could call this. Sonic Mania, but on mobile devices, or Sonic Mania, on a trap, or Sonic Mania, mixed with, or Sonic Mania crossed over with modern Sonic. Okay, what I meant to say is this model is the Lord is the god lord of the Sonic models. Whoever made this model is good at Sonic models. Because whoever made this model is probably god of making Sonic models. Just look at this. This brings back nostalgia. This brings back the Sonic generation. Generations. Because this is generation style. Or you could say, in some cases... American Sonic style because in generations classic Sonic looks like American Sonic but, but 
bit more to look like a bit, a bit more to look like Japanese Sonic. You know the one from the Japanese Sonic one and Son the Japanese Sonic one, Sonic two, and Sonic three box art, and probably every other. Okay, so that's so you so this nails modern Sonic down. So if you were me, if you were if you wanted to make a modern Sonic model with a classic Sonic model, you have to get the details down. You don't have to do the green eyes or the gray stuff under Sonic shoes with classic Sonic. But there's some things you gotta do. In Sonic Generations, it's about time. And in Sonic Generations, classic Sonic should be shorter than its modern counterpart. Than his modern counterpart. And they should look similar to each other. First of all, the ears. They have to be like modern Sonics. First of all, this mill thing. This thing. That's in the middle of this. That's in the middle of the of the top parts of the eyes. If you could see this, if you could see Luigi's face moving, yeah, there. That's supposed to be look like looking like modern Sonics. Also, let let leave the book belt buckles. Also, you need to get the correct number of Sonic Spines right. In the classic games, we always assumed that... Back in the 90s, we always assumed that Sonic had three spikes. Because we only saw him in one direction. It wasn't until Sonic 3 that they confirmed Sonic had five spines at the back. And two at the back also. I meant two back spikes. Also one tail. This was confirmed by a Sonic by a particular Sonic 3 spike sprite which Sonic is at where Sonic you can see this in probably one probably when Sonic stands on these things that make him turn. Let's say that Obstacle in Hydrocity's zone. Yeah, or Hydro City's so, zone. We could see that Classic Sonic had five spikes, which the middle one is a bit down. You know, you know what I mean? Like, these two spikes where Luigi's at are here, but a little down... But Luigi goes a little down, and then he, and there's the little spike. Okay. So if so, bam. Good. Now it's your turn, X Miss Sonic. I will show you. You're trying. Are you trying to hide from yourself? Or are you mad at me, X Sonic? No. You earned yourself enough time. You. There you are. Hmm. Let's see. Sonic. Sonic has no back. But, uh, you were never meant to see his back, so they never modeled his back. It may look like Sonic's spines are there. But Sonic has no back. <laughs> it's supposed to be a joke. But seriously, Sonic does have back. It's supposed to be a joke I made with the model. So, yeah. 
So this is the model, and like the modern Sonic one, it's pretty, it's perfect. It's just like what Christmas Sonic is supposed to be like. Now here's a bonus. Sorry if I showed a little of the, I only showed a little of the, of the song, of the Xmas Sonic because it's just like the modern Sonic model from Sonic Runners. Here is Mario Run Mario, and I was like, hmm? small Mario exists, so he must be at the bottom of Mario. But no, Mario's all, all, oh yeah, this is a, this is what. Sh Mario should look like in 2D game. This is what Mario should. <laughs> oh. Mamma mia. It's me, Mario. Huh. I wonder. Hey, Nintendo. I. If you're watching this video, be sure to get. Be sure to try out my new idea. It's called the Nintendo HDS. It can, you can play Nintendo 3DS games on your big screen. With eight, on, you can play the Nintendo, Nintendo, people can play the 3DS, 3DS games with the HDS. They can play the free, 3DS games on their TVs. Just like what Sega did with their Sega Nomad and their Sega Game Gear. But it has HDMI. Also, also the games are in HD when you're when you're going poor a little bull. Also, if there was a new Super Mario Bros. game, let's say su new Super Mario Bros. 3, then Probably it would be the very best, like, no one ever was, because the original Super Mario Bros. 3 was good. So why not make new Super Mario Bros. 3? This is what the model Nintendo would use for a new game. <clears throat> Nintendo, you have great ideas. I love you. I mean, now I like you, Nintendo. You're good, and I want you to stay fresh with new ideas. And your and your ideas are great. And if even if they're bad, and if they're bad, you'll rewrite history of them, like you, what you did with the Virtual Boy and the 3DS. You know, the Virtual Boy was not successful, so years later you came back with the 3DS, which is 3D, huh? Get it? The Virtual Boy was supposed to simulate... Go to bed. Again, the joke was supposed to be that the Nintendo was supposed... Nintendo, the joke was supposed to be, get it, you came back with the 3DS... And the virtual boy was supposed to simulate portable virtual reality, but it failed, and and you did the same idea with the 3DS, but instead of it, but instead of a, something that gives you headaches, that gives you headaches when you when you, but instead of something that that doesn't allow you to look at the buttons. You know, also they rewrite his. Also, Nintendo, you rewrote history with the Wii U. You know, you, you, the Wii U failed, and with the Switch, you made Nintendo, you made the Wii U more successful because Wii U games are on there. Also, I hope Super Mario Maker gets a Wii U remake, and if Sakurai would allow this, then. Smash 